about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking, we'll get away Hey guys, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights. Y'all ready for this? Okay, you wanna see? <laughs> so, this is the secret that I kind of feel guilty, that I kind of hide, that I've got 10 million whips. <laughs> And I don't know why, I just felt like showing this kind of informal video because, you know, um, I was doing the accountability tag on Instagram and I realized that I've completed 18 pieces this year, but I've also started 11 whips. And <laughs> some I finished, I mean, some, some are close, some are not, some haven't been seen yet, and they're you know, are a few that I'm working on that like, yeah, I'm, I'm legit working on them and you'll see them on my channel, but there's some that you haven't seen at all that I have started. So I kind of wanted to start doing, a, um, like see what I have accomplished or done on some of these whips that I would like to get done and finished. <laughs> Finally, because really before um, this year, I was just like a one and done, like do one painting, finish it, done. Then I realized I do actually enjoy having different canvases that I can work on. Um, and there are some canvases that I just can't wait to start on. And so, um, but, but some of these canvases, like I really do want to finish. I just put them away. Like I hang them up and I, I forget to work on them. Some of them I have less motivation to work on. So anyway, let's start off with whip number one. This is a diamond painting of a princess. And this is not a legally licensed piece. Um, so... That is all I'll say with this one, but I really would like to finish this one. Um, unfortunately, the the color that they had on this was all wrong, and basically it's double-sided adhesive, and it's terrible, awful, <laughs> so many bubbles and rivers. So I'm working on this one little by little. Okay. Now, this one, I don't think you've ever seen before. This is a custom that I actually have an unboxing of. This is my little James. And we'll see, I'm not so sure, but I did um, get this in a partenariate with, a partenariate, oh my gosh, what am I talking, in French? Um, with a, like not a partnership, just basically a company had asked me to review their custom paintings. So I, so I sent them some pictures and I have started working on this one, but I haven't got quite far yet, but that unboxing will be on my channel. So then I have Lavender Witch and this one is an ever going painting. <laughs> Um, it's just, it's very, very confetti heavy and the colors that I've gone to are like all basically grays and light browns and because I have to single place based on how the squares fit, it's just taking a really long time and I kind of have a goal to work on this for 25 minutes a day. We'll see how long it takes me with that, that goal. Then I have the tiger. So this is on the prowl from Diamond Dots and it is a square. This one I had incredible problems with the drills in the background which made me not want to finish this. I decided, you know, it's a look. It's a look that you can kind of go with that background. But um, I did end up spilling some drills and I don't know how to get any more of that color. And so that kind of discouraged me from continuing, but maybe I will just do everything I can on it except for those drills. And then I guess just fill it in the best that I can, but that is that whip. Okay. Of course I have started the train of dreams. And I, 
said in my last video that I'm just waiting for some drills to come in to add to this. So, um, <laughs> this one's just waiting, but this is definitely on my priority list. You'll see this on my channel, definitely. Okay, we're getting to the larger paintings. So this is my Jasmine Princess panel. And um, I have about two thirds done. And I started this at the beginning of the year and I just, I really do want to finish this. I just, it's such a big project to just get into with the boxes of drills that I have for this. Like I have three Harbor Freight containers and it just feels overwhelming to pull out <laughs> um the stacks and then I had bought in some gold um sparklers for squares for the accents and for the lamp but I don't know that I really like the sparklers for squares but now that there are like gold you know crystal um, squares from shimmering canvases I'm thinking I've ordered some and I might um, try replacing that um, just because I think that could be really cool I don't know have you guys ever switched out drills on a painting that's been sitting for a good six months um, I just don't know if how that will go but I'll try it I'll definitely try it so when those go and then maybe I'll want to just keep working on it and finish it okay so this is the next whip and I actually won this canvas from Yureli and this is a treasure studio art piece of a shark I started it this bottom part um, with the DPC creature fun event and I do really think this is a neat one I just um, have had it sitting in the closet because other things have come up. So I think once I get some of my other whips finished, I will start trying this one like 50, 25 minutes a day or something like that. <laughs> so that is the shark. And then, yes, guys, this is, I got this one. Um, <laughs> with my other old masters pieces so this is my third one I had kind of mentioned that I had a third one that I didn't unbox this one on my channel just because I've seen so many unboxings and it seems like a lot of people are doing it it's so neat and I love the gold sparkle you guys know if you have watched my channel at all that I love gold so this one after seeing it I just I just had to <laughs> so I've been having fun with it um but it's one of those things that I feel really guilty working on this one just because this is a totally superfluous painting that like you know I just I've got other ones this this is yeah anyway <laughs> so um that is woman in gold okay on to my main whip and uh, this one is hard to count as like um one of those whips that's like you know one of your secret whips or something like that because yeah this is the one that I'm doing for the JBG event and I've had a lot of fun with this um I realized that I need to slow down on it um if I'm going to make it work for the whole month of July for the event I do have some other ones coming but I don't want to <laughs> get done with this one before they arrive um so I've kind of put it on pause for the moment and I'm doing playing catch up with some other whips but um I really do like it and you know if you've let let me know what you think about her eye because um her eyes are kind of blue in the picture but I feel like her eyes are really blue like the this part is really blue and I've considered actually switching that out for lighter blue and also switching this out this is actually supposed to be skin but it's like this random pink part and i wonder if i switch that out for either the skin tone or for um some of the hair but so that is that whip okay my friends and the final large whip 
that I will show you today is the Josephine wall. So I've gotten some more done on it and um, I've had some fun. Like how I did this is I actually pulled off this whole large section and I was kind of taking some of the lighter parts and defining them with ABs before I placed the other drills down. And I do think it worked out on this side of the flower. So I'm hoping that it will look just as good on this side of the flower. Um, but I really have been working on this for um, a good little bit every night and I'm hoping to um, keep making progress on this. So, um, yeah, um, I, I, this, this is part of what I think I'm going to start just doing maybe like a weekly update on what's going on with this, this Josephine wall, because it's such a neat piece. Um, I really think people would like to see what's going on. So, like I said, this is a very informal video. I apologize for two informal videos that you can hear children in the background. My little Remy <laughs> did just wake up and he, I, I can kind of hear him on the monitor. So I'll go get him in just a sec. But I just wanted to say that my 11th and final whip is actually one that I've boxed away. It was Amethyst Dragon by Kelly Horton. And that one, I feel comfortable being boxed completely like a new canvas back up. Only one small corner was done. So um, I will get to that one whenever I get to it. I think once I have all of these other whips um, finished and done. So anyway, give me a thumbs up and a like if you liked this random video. And I will see you guys in another one. Bye.